Hi, this is Ed Hammerly from NJ Renewable Energy. I'm here today at a geothermal installation to show you this, the GeoClip. This clip can improve energy efficiency, heat transfer from anywhere from 20 to 35%. Today we are drilling several boreholes for a residential geothermal system. As per the HVAC installer, the heat calculations verify that we need 750 feet of loop. Although there are many safety features already added into the loop size calculation, there are always some uncontrollable aspects to any job. And these can affect loop efficiency as well as proper system sizing. Different soil characteristics are by far the most common. If one assumes they are drilling into granite, a very dense material, and fine sand, proper system sizing will be affected. But the characteristics don't have to be that profoundly different. If the soil type turned out to be shale or clay, this would change the calculation. But the clips I'm going to show you today aren't just about protecting you from the unknown. It's really about improving efficiency, or thermal transfer, to a minimum of 20% and up to 35%. We are talking about spending several dollars a clip in order to create a massive improvement in efficiency. If you're doing geothermal installations, this device should be required. That's why I use them on every job. So here's a little experiment as to what will happen when it's installed in the ground. Here I've attached both portions of the clip to the loop. Here is the tremie pipe. This is what's going to fill the borehole with grout. I've pulled the release clip and she's ready to go. As the tremie pipe slides upward, the spring releases and both pieces of pipe are slapped to the outside wall of the borehole. And in an instant, you've become more efficient. So here we go. It doesn't get any easier than this. We install the clips approximately every 10 feet. Making sure the spring mechanism is at the top, I clip both portions onto the loop. I then put the hooks around the tremie pipe and pull the release clip. We repeat the process again and again, making sure that the clip faces the same direction each time. It's imperative to remove the release clip, otherwise it will not spring into action when the tremie pipe is removed. And as stated, we're looking for about every 10 feet, so we count the motions with our arms and make the best of it. In this case, the Trevi pipe is a larger size as well as having a yellow stripe, but it's imperative that you don't confuse one from the other. Pay attention and take your time and the job will go smoothly. Once the loop is complete, the bentonite grout is mixed and prepared to be pumped down the hole. Now the process of filling the borehole with grout begins. It is very important that the tremie pipe be pulled up slowly. This ensures that the grout fills the hole completely. And don't forget, as the tremie pipe comes up, it passes each of the hooks, the spring opens up and pushes each side of the pipe to the outside of the borehole. Once the grout reaches the surface, your loop is complete. <laughs> there we go. Set. So what we have created is a loop that looks like the one on the right. But now the resulting energy transferring effects that look like the top portion of the photo now look like the bottom. And as stated, are now anywhere from 20% to 35% more efficient. But here is one other thing to consider. The manufacturer of GeoClip suggests that you can also consider reducing the system size with the added efficiency and save the money on material and installation costs. If you are familiar with soil conditions, this is definitely one option to consider. 
So thank you for watching the installation of a GeoClip. And if you have any questions about renewable energy or sustainability, please contact me on my site, njrenewableenergy.com. Thank you. Good land. I have